Hi everyone and welcome back to another one of my reviews. Today we are checking out the brand new Liberty Air 2 Pro by Soundcore. My name is Sebastian from TechCentury and I am here to help you make the right purchasing decision. Before we get started I want to clarify that I have purchased these earbuds from my own money and that I don't have any affiliation with Soundcore. In terms of pricing and availability, these earbuds have an MSRP of $129, but with coupon codes you can get them much much cheaper. This is how I personally only paid 80 euros for them. Check out my affiliate links in the description for real-time pricing to see when they go on sale. Design and especially color choice has always been a big strength of Soundcore. Just like the Motion Plus Bluetooth speaker that I reviewed recently here on the channel and the Live Q30 headphones, the Liberty Air 2 Pro are available in different colors. In this case, black, white, the version that I have right here, blue and pink. I went with the white version that also features a lot of silver accents. Overall, I really love the design and the look of the earbuds that clearly differentiates itself from most of the competitors. But what I like even more than the earbuds themselves in terms of design is actually this charging case that they are stored in. While it's significantly bigger than the AirPods case, I really like the slightly rubberized texture and the unique slide-out opening mechanism. And also great is that we have three LEDs on the front that are an indicator for the battery life that's left in the charging case. This is super convenient. On the back of the case, you then also find a USB-C charging port as well as a pairing button. During my unboxing, I was pretty shocked at how many different sizes of silicon ear tips are included inside of the box. While most other earbuds only come with three or four different sizes, the Liberty Air 2 Pro actually come with nine different sizes, ranging all the way from super small to huge. This made me really confident that anyone should be easily able to find the perfect fit for them. But that didn't turn out to be the case, at least not for me. Even after trying out all the different sizes, I never managed to get a good fit with the Liberty Air 2 Pros, which is a real shame. While some tips managed to generate a decent seal at the beginning, they always got loose really quickly and at the beginning I wasn't really sure why this was the case, but I think I found the answer. When we compare the, just the shape of the tips here of the Liberty Air 2 Pro, we realize that it's very short. While the tip on the Earphone Air Pros extends 7mm from the beginning of the butt, the Liberty Airs only extend 2mm, which in my case just makes the big difference between a tight and a loose fit. In terms of controls, both earbuds are touch sensitive, which means that you can control different features just by touching them and you don't have to press hard on them, which I really like. This is a great solution that is far superior to using a gyroscope and has worked very reliably for me. Another thing of the Soundcore products in general is their app connectivity. The well-designed app that is available for iOS and Android not only makes updating the firmware easy, it also lets you select from different equalizers or lets you even create your own. On top of that, you can also customize the controls so that you can choose the ones that are really important to you. You can even assign volume up and down controls, which is awesome. In terms of Bluetooth standard, the Liberty Air 2 Pro support Bluetooth 5.0, which isn't bad, but for new earbuds that were released in 2021, I would have really liked to see Bluetooth 5.1 for improved signal stability and range. Unfortunately, pairing has not been a great experience for me. Every time that you want to switch the device, you have to press the pairing button again, and even then repairing the earbuds didn't always work on the first try, which became annoying really fast. When it comes to range, there were basically zero surprises and the Liberty Air 2 performed just as other Bluetooth 5.0 earbuds, covering 100% of our 1200 square foot loft and when adding our 1000 square foot backyard, 50% of that area. In terms of additional features, the earbuds also feature ear detection for automatic play and pause, an ear tip test in the app that lets you test if you have the right ear tip size selected for your ears, and Hear ID, which is supposed to give you the best sound for your ears after a three minute test where you listen to different frequencies to basically create a custom EQ just for your ears. Another important feature is the single point connection that allows you to use either earbuds standalone. Last but not least, the earbuds also offer key wireless charging. In terms of battery life, Soundcore claims up to seven hours on a single charge. However, in my worst case scenario test with 100% volume and ANC enabled, 
they only lasted roughly 5 hours. This is significantly shorter than the 7.5 hours that you get on the Earfun Air Pro. The case is then supposed to give you more than 20 hours on top of that. Before we move on, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you like this video, so don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons below. This is a quick reference recording using the microphone in the camera. And now this is a recording in a quiet indoor environment with the microphones on the Liberty Air 2 Pro. And now you're listening to the microphones on the Earfun Air Pro. And now, last but not least, you're listening to the audio from the Apple AirPods Pro. The microphones on the Liberty Air 2 Pros didn't really convince me and I preferred the sound of the Earfun Air Pros, but which one is your favorite? In terms of sound modes, you have three to choose from, normal, transparency and ANC. When activating ANC mode, you can also then choose from additional options in the app like traffic, indoor, outdoor or custom, which is supposed to adjust the ANC to these different settings. In transparency mode, you also have two options to choose from, full transparency and voice. Of course, the sound quality is the most important aspect when it comes to headphones and I have to say that I was overall very happy with the Liberty Air 2 Pro in my test. Overall, I would describe the sound as very pleasing with a really good amount of bass and good mids and highs. In comparison to my reference EVE Audio SE203 speakers, there is certainly soundstage clarity and details missing, but for a price of less than $100, I think that most people will be very happy with them. Especially the more than 20 equalizers that you can choose from really sets these earbuds apart. Radioactive by Pentatonix, for example, sounded much better in the acoustic EQ setting than in the default one. In addition to music, the Liberty Air 2 Pro are also very solid performers when it comes to watching movies or talking head content on YouTube and I really enjoyed my time using them. In terms of ANC and transparency modes, I wasn't really that impressed overall. It certainly feels like they perform better than the Irfan Air Pros in this aspect, but they're not even coming close to the Apple AirPods Pro. So now it's time for my verdict and overall I think the Liberty Air 2 Pro are a really good pair of true wireless earbuds with a nice polished design, great charging case, good sound, extensive EQ adjustment and decent ANC, which a lot of people will be very happy with. Unfortunately, all of these things don't really matter though if you can't get the right fit, which is my biggest issue with them and also the reason why I've decided to return them. A good alternative are also the Earfun Air Pros that are cheaper, offer a better fit in my case and also have superior battery life but they lack the app functionality and the ANC isn't as good as on the sound core. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and thank you for watching.